Hello and uh, welcome back to Saints Row and welcome back to the Vice King storyline. Let's go meet up with our good friend Gat and see what's up. But he's not our good friend yet. Our workplace acquaintance. Good thing you're here. I was about to leave without you. Now, I don't think I'm feeling the bat today. This is always the hardest part for me, you know? Balancing stopping power with personal enjoyment. Ooh, yeah, I'm feeling this. It ain't gonna be easy clearing all those VKs out of the station, so I told my crew to meet us there. Let's ride. Okay, well, Gat has chosen his weapon, so let's hit his not at all tacky car. <laughs> out the last time you took out her brothel. This time, the bitch is gonna get what's coming to her. I mean. This is very Johnny Gat. I want to find Big Tony. You listen to Julius talk about the guy, he makes it sound like he's built like a fucking APC. Well, I'm looking forward to taking him apart. I got a good feeling about this. I think it'll be a nice bonding experience. Me too, Gat, me too. Let's take the Gatmobile and crack some voice king heads. Hmm, Gatmobile's looking a little, uh, slim these days. I hope you can keep up with me in there. Ah, it's the early model. <laughs> and I think Gat always has called him, called his car the Gatmobile. <laughs> boys. Let's drop some Vice Queens. Very clever, Gat. I mean, if you were Johnny Gat, wouldn't you call your car the Gatmobile? Oh, absolutely. There we go. I'm just saying, I, th I, th I think you could use, like, a flamethrower? Also, Tanya is immune to bullets. Wow, she is really hoofing it. Well, if you're immune to bullets, I guess you might as well have other superpowers as, we as well, so... God damn it. <laughs> there we go. Anyone around the corner? I see you. Um, damn it. Come on, Gat, you gotta keep up. You ain't getting away from the kid. Nothing's getting away. Come on, Gat. Where are you, Gat? He's right behind you. He sure is. Still immune to bullets? Gat is not immune to bullets. Come on, Gat. After all that talk, where the hell did he go? What happened? Did he fall down the stairwell? Um, no, he warped up the stairwell. Oh. I was a little bit confused <laughs> for a moment there. <laughs> Gat, that's not how that works. I guess we have to do everything ourselves here. Gat, I'm quite disappointed in you. Oh well, he's still a baby. He'll get it eventually. <laughs> How about you drop the gun, honey? If I were you, I'd listen to the lady. Well, of course you would, you being her bitch. Watch your fucking mouth. Hey, no reason to be hostile. You packing anything else? Just some rubbers. I was hoping I could get some of William's sloppy seconds. Guess I hit a nerve. Do yourself a favor, stay down and shut the fuck up. You third street motherfuckers think you so smart, well check this out. We ain't impressed. Hell, the only reason you got as far as you did was cause King let you. We led you right to where we wanted you and now the police gonna finish your ass for good just the way we planned. Well that explains how your bitch lost prawn court. Are you gonna let him talk about me like that? Don't worry baby, I got this. Yeah Tanya, shut the fuck up. I thought I told you to be quiet. I got shitty hearing. <laughs> now you got a shitty leg. <laughs> so do you. Oh, 
Baby, we better call King. We should probably take the Gatmobile and head back to the road. Hey, player. One of Johnny's crew got out of there in time and told me what went down. If the cops are working for the Kings, you gotta get up the street fast. Hurry up and get back to the church. We'll figure out a way to get Johnny back home. And yeah, the Gatmobile is a Venom, so it's not very fast and also doesn't handle very well, so that's great. <laughs> That was a good shot, Mr. Cop. No, yeah, seriously. And I'm getting stuck on some geometry, but that's just how it goes sometimes. You know, I'm thinking the Gabby could out. use. <laughs> Whoa, hello. And we what are well and truly wedged. That's not moving. Well, how far are you from the church? Uh, not very far, no. It's right over there, but I think we should probably get a vehicle in any case. Probably. I was gonna say, I think the Gatmobile needs a weapon on board. Like, maybe, I don't know, like, flamethrowers or something. Yeah, definitely. And some more weight as well, because it just kind of got bullied. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, he ain't going nowhere. Damn good work, Tony. I'll stop by after I pay a visit to Hughes. I'll see you soon, boss. So what do we do now? We wait. Oh, uh, hold on, dog. That motherfucker's still out there. The fuck you mean we wait? I mean, you're gonna sit your black ass down and wait because I fucking said so. Don't worry about the one that got away. The 5-0 will take care of him. Oh, so while you lounging, Trey Street keeps jacking us. That's great. That's, that's fucking brilliant. Slow up, little nigga. Come on, King. This is some bullshit. Let me get a crew together. I could roll into the row and drop all them bitches. I'm telling you. No. But Mr. King- I said no. Don't make me say it a third time. Warren, my man, you got the music scene locked down. I need you to bring in the cheddar, not get shot because you think you got something to prove. I can do this! Maybe, but we ain't gonna find out. We got the cops busting up 3rd Street for us, and we got Julius Lieutenant tied up in Anthony's condo. Everything's going our way right now, so just chill. Your time gonna come, Warren. It just ain't happening now. Understood? Yeah, we straight. It looks like the Vice Kings are doing completely fine amongst themselves. Mm hmm. No dissension in the ranks whatsoever. They're a tight knit ship. Indeed. Or, in short, the Vice Kings are fine. But who is not fine is Johnish, so we should probably go and bust him out. You think it'll work? It has to. Sit down, son. We got a way to rescue Johnny. The shit Johnny said about Warren and Tanya really got to Tony. Now the only time she's allowed out of his sight is when she's checking on the rebuilding of the recording studio. Every day that bitch gets driven to the construction site in a limo, then sneaks off to get a free gun with Warren before she goes back home to Tony. While she's busy sucking cock, you deal with the chauffeur and take his place. When she's done wiping her mouth, she'll have you drive her back. Once you're at Tony's, it's all up to you. Please bring Johnny back. Just don't tell him I was worried. Yeah, I don't think Aisha has to really worry about us telling anyone anything. It'll be fine. So I guess now we are gonna moonlight as a limo driver. Hello, Miss Winters. Is Warren here? He's in the back. Keep the car running. Knowing Warren, I should be back shortly. Alright, Mr. Limo Driver. Let's just do this nice and quiet. 
or at least as quiet as we are capable of. I'm um, hello there, officer. <laughs> oh, for the love of God. <laughs> you absolute git. Okay, that's better. Everything just conspiring to make this as obnoxious as possible. I could shoot through the side window, but I'll just do that instead. I hope Tanya doesn't mind the slight bullet holes on the windshield. Eh, hey, I'm sure it'll be fine. Or our purple hair. Or our purple clothing. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised that he didn't make you, like, go to, um, a plastic surgeon beforehand. No, no. Not this time. I got some time to kill before Tony expects me back. Might as well do a little shopping. Ah, she doesn't seem to mind the fact her driver suddenly has purple hair, so I think we'll fine. We'll be fine. She's sitting in the far back of the car. It's fine. I can't believe Luz is still wearing last season's heels. Right. We told her. She didn't <laughs> believe us. Is she still around? She is. So Warren called me Aisha again today. Can you believe that? I'm not touching that one. King is still blaming me for losing prom court. Ah, well, what can we really say about that? We did get in there quite hard, so... You better have killed Gap by the time I get home. Yeah, I, hopefully not. I can't even shop for fruit. Hey! King really should start... This should only take a minute. Stop by Friendly Fire. I'd like to pick something up for Tony. Will do. Will do. King really should start listening to Warren. You said that already. Well, you said half of that. Yeah, she only she cut herself off, so she had to finish it. So clueless. Does she ever stop? No. Then we are timed, but King has to learn to get with the times. Uh huh. Yeah, as long as you're a halfway decent driver, you should be okay with the time limit. Sometimes I just want to say fuck it all and go to Hollywood, you know? Yeah, we all have those days sometimes. I wonder if they gift wrap. Oh yeah, they do. At least in... I was gonna say Saints Row, but we can't say that. <laughs> Some of Troy's crew didn't hear the plan and decided they were going to hit Tanya when she was in her limo. These are our boys, and I don't want them getting hurt. Can't someone relay the plan to them? Probably not, considering how good these saints are at... Well, everything in this particular game. So, I guess we have to lose them. Which, in this crappy-ass limo, is not going to be the easiest job in the world, but we'll do what we can. Lady, I'm doing my best. I can't shake them in like three seconds. Just let me do my thing. Yeah, this is not going super well at this point. Okay, that seemed to do it. They suddenly fell pretty far back. Yeah, you might be okay at this point. Good job. Remind me to give you a tip. So now I guess we'll just take her over to, to Big Tony's place. And in the process, we will find Gat and bust him out. So that plan, as usual, didn't quite work out as expected, but in the end we did get to the... to where we wanted to be. I better tell Tony about this. So 
Don't you fuck. Okay, Tony, where are you? I'll take care of this bitch. Is his name Anthony Green? Yeah. Okay. I wasn't sure who Green was. I thought it was Green with an E at the end. But maybe not. And there's Gat just hanging out. Don't worry, buddy. We're here for you. Just let us finish the murdering. Yeah, well, this guy does seem to have about as much health as a tank, so that's great. Yeah, he really is built like an APC. I'm not sure what they thought that would accomplish, though. Me neither. Ah, oh, it's a bathroom with two doors? Hey, not to be pushy or nothing, but how about you get me out of this fucking chair? About fucking time you got here. Where's Green? That's much better. Now I heard Green say that he's got some heavy shit in the back. I'll have some of our boys roll on over and bring the hardware back to the crib. I guess it was just Green then. Okay, fine. Huh, okay. So wait, are we just gonna leave Tanya knocked out outside the apartment? Apparently we are. Feel like we should, uh... Take care of her or something. I don't know. No, no, no. No, no, we got this. Also, Green's body just kinda teleported during that cutscene. Just ended up in the middle of the living room. Instead of the bathroom where he actually died. It's more dignified that way. I think. In a parking garage to discuss rigging games. Don't let any of them walk away from the meeting. No one fucks with my hockey game. Good old hockey game indeed. Okay. So let's blow up some cars. Yeah, the pimp cane takes out a car in two hits. Nice. It's got some range too. We could use explosives, but okay, that's not really helpful. But we are okay. We lost half our half our health in all of that. It's probably fine. You got some burgers, I think. Yeah, and I got health regen as well. I wasn't gonna waste a burger because we were basically safe at that point. And all these guys were up here. I could have actually taken a car and just driven up this, but then again, it's probably since we have to shoot everyone, it's probably better to just do it on foot. Because shooting from the car is kind of a pain in the ass. And you don't really want to keep getting in and out of it. I mean, I figured you could probably just ram people in the car, but you know. But in this game, they can actually avoid that pretty well. Oh, uh, yeah, good point. Okay, is that gonna hit? I have a good feeling about this. Well, never mind. I shall never have a good feeling again about anything. Oh, come on, that was totally a... Jesus. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> but we did get them. After several weeks of trying. <laughs> And the loss of all good feelings. Yeah. Yeah, well, that happens. Damn it. That was kind of an impressive shot in its own way, I think. Um, um, you okay there? I'm not sure what happened there, but never mind. Oh, you know, just stretching their knees a little bit. Yeah, so now there's the last one. I figure we should probably get the car for this because... They're gonna, they're gonna gump, jump it? Indeed. Here, 
Now this jump is a little bit wonky at times, so I was a bit afraid that I would just land in an even worse way than that, but that's okay. Yeah. How convenient that they built an exit ramp right at the top there. I mean, isn't that just standard issue for parking garages? Good job, idiot. I don't know, I don't usually go to the top of parking garages. Yeah, I don't think this guy's gonna do so well. Did a bit of the old Austin Powers there again. <laughs> So, let's see, what do we got next? Well, next we got getting stuck on geometry, or rather, street furniture. Well, what else is new? So then we head back to the abandoned police station, because now, that, now it's a stronghold. Interesting. The Kings are keeping some of our boys locked up at the old police station. I want you to lead the jailbreak. What the fuck's your problem? I don't think that guy's doing so well. Let's make King proud. Well, whatever. Tonight there's gonna be a jailbreak. Somewhere in this town. So yeah, the start of this is just the same as the previous mission in the abandoned police station. This all looks quite familiar. Yeah. Except this time we don't have Gat with us, obviously. Is that for the better, though? <laughs> considering this game's homie AI? Well, yeah, considering his fairly disappointing performance in that mission, yeah, I think it's better this way. Why is there a random refrigerator in the middle of that room? Don't worry about it. And yeah, the downstairs where was actually blocked last time we were here, so... That's where these cells are. So we got one of our homies here. Are you gonna do something or...? No? Okay, fine. You coming? Is he still dying? Uh, we got an another one in the other cell. One right here. I'm not sure why he was also dying, because nobody was attacking him, but eh, whatever. Maybe he's just hungry. Maybe he was really trying his best to, uh, hunt his way out of the cell? Ah, uh, that I don't think usually goes so well for you. I mean, I'm no expert. I have no first-hand experience of that sort of thing, but... One would assume that trying to punch your way out of a jail cell is generally not recommended. No, no, especially not when the walls are made of concrete. Unless, of course, you are in the movie Story of Ricky, <laughs> aka Rikio, a classic. In that case, yeah, probably bad. But usually not. So that takes care of another stronghold. A bit weird that they would recycle this general area for this after we already came through here in a mission, but whatever. Time for another mission, and you see how we are in front of the thrift store. So let's see what fun we have. Dex, don't worry, I have a plan. Johnny, your idea of a plan is taking the biggest hammer you can find and smashing whatever's in your way. Well, that sounds like a plan to me. Yeah, a shitty one, as your whack-ass robo-leg clearly proves. Oh, fuck you. Next time you try that cowboy shit, you might not walk away at all. No, seriously. Fuck you. Look, I worked out a plan that will hurt the kings and put minimum risk on you. How much murdering do I get to do? None. Your plan blows. Hear me out, all right? Kings obviously got something going on with the police. I'll figure that shit out. In the meantime, I want you two to go out and cause some havoc. If we can turn the public's eye to the kings, then the police won't have a choice but to come down on them. Okay, so we go and do some damage. How did the VKs get blamed? Put these on. I'm yellow enough as it is, Dex. Just put the damn shirt on. Fine. Get dressed. We got a little piece to disturb. Um, should I get like a hat or... Kings are gonna take the fall. We gotta make sure that whatever we do is caught on tape. 
Okay, first off, Johnny, hold on a sec. I'm gonna need a hat. <laughs> oh, I guess I don't need a hat. Well, I guess we'll be banking on the cops and everyone else being stupid. Which something, I some mean... <laughs> something, something, they only look at the clothes, not the actual person. Something. Yeah, oh well. I mean, I could have changed the hair beforehand, but that would that wouldn't really make much sense either, so... He's just a big fan of Aisha. <laughs> the Vice Kings are here to stay. And yeah, Johnny actually now has Vice Kings themed taunts. So that's pretty fun. That's cute. Okay, so now we have caused enough of a ruckus. To get a wonder level, we should head back downtown and attack some stores. So why not? I also brought this Vice King's car to make it look good. <laughs> Whoops. I kinda didn't notice I was still holding the rocket launcher. Pro, pro tip, don't set off explosives point blank. Nonsense, it went well for us. <laughs> But they're probably just good luck for us in general. Also, please don't run around shooting all the shopkeepers in the head or in the back or anywhere, for that matter. That sort of thing is frowned upon in most circles. I like the fact we actually blew up the, the cash register and got some coins out of it. <laughs> Man, this is a long, uh, out of mayhem. Oh, we haven't even started yet. Oh boy. Come on, God. You did that to make the Vice Kings look bad, right? Yes, yes I did, Johnny. Thanks for asking. Does the, uh, does the wanted level, like, need to be there for you to, uh, complete this mission, or...? I would assume it does be... Because, well, we have to get it in order for the media to get interested, I guess. And I okay, think, gotcha. I, I, don't, I don't know if the cops actually have to be there throughout the mission, but I might as well have them here. Just, you know, to have some company and all that. And have someone, someone to witness our, our evil deeds. In the name of Vice Kings, of course. So let's see, this is not gonna work. Could you not get us killed, um, please? Officer, please. This is not gonna work. Nope. That did not work. Yeah, that kinda sucked. Let's try that again. I don't think this car is even capable of doing that, even in optimal circumstances, which these are very much not. <laughs> Out of the way, lads. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, that's not gonna work at all. Fine, fine, let's do this the old-fashioned way then. I got seems to like it. What? Something, okay, something find I... a bulldozer. Yeah, I have no idea what Gat said, but... Oh, hold on. He seems to have gotten in some trouble again, so we have to bail him out. And yeah, there's a bunch of SWAT here and... Out of the way. Bowling pins. I will shoot you if I have to. Oh, someone's gonna shoot us if he has to. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Not sure what we're gonna do about that. Aside from eat a burg. Let's take something a little bit more durable. Come on, Johnny. Let's roll. We'll borrow this if you guys don't mind. Okay, we can steal another one. Yeah, Johnny, I wouldn't be so worried about the the nick of this SWAT van that we stole. You did that to make the vice look bad, right? I wasn't sure what the cops' plan is there. Cause trying to ram this giant armored van from behind doesn't really seem like the optimal way to go about things. 
No, no, it doesn't. And you'd think they would know that. Oh, there's a CD. Yeah, there is. I'll get to that. Oh yeah, Alderman Hughes, the um, the mayoral candidate. There's an election going on. It's kind of in the background for most of the game, and just a flavor thing. But yeah, Alderman Hughes has he's got a statue of himself here for whatever reason. I guess he donated a bunch of money for one thing or another. Either way, this is definitely going to get the attention of the the public. Yeah, one would hope so. Ah, all that attention going to the Vice Kings. What a shame. I'm sure Johnny would love to get that attention himself. I'm not sure why we could just drive into the statue instead of the marker, but there we go. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. How you like that? Did you get a good shot? Don't worry about it. Look, if it was one of mine, I'll take care of it. But I'm telling you, I don't care what colors they was wearing. It was that crew from Saints Row I was telling you about. No, I'm not making any excuse. I will. Tell your wife I said hello. Goodbye, Alderman. Great. Now we got your crack-ass friends tripping. Like I said, fucking with City Hall is a waste of time. Wrong. Working with them is what gives us power. Yo, fuck that. This is what gives us power. Now get the fuck out of my office. The Vice King's status still fine. The downtown area might be in need of some slight renovations. You know what, that's what the Saints are there to do. Just help them get back up on their feet.